Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to the video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to Caitlyn Bennett. I'm sure most of you have heard about her as of right now because she's all over the internet for being homophobic, transphobic, racist. So we are going to react to those allegations that obviously have video proof. And I just wanted to quickly say I have a headache, so I won't be that energetic in the video but i still will be entertaining like don't judge me i will not be boring okay so yeah let's get into the video you called me a racist yeah i am what have i said that's racist okay so they said that they're gonna let the black woman speak instead of me that's that's really cool why can't any she's a literal clown how 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 is your voice more important than hers just because she's black and you are Caucasian? Excuse me, what? If it was a situation where she was talking about a topic and she was more educated than the other female in the video, then yeah, it would have been understanding where she was like, okay, let me speak instead. But the simple fact that she's saying she should be the one speaking out because she is Caucasian and the one speaking her voice should be kept quiet just because she is black <sighs> that's one of the things racists hate the fact that black people didn't used to have a voice they were quietened during racist times i mean it, there's still racism now but back then like if you said anything if you did to say anything against white man rule you were gonna be killed punished um tortured and not even in private in public for everyone to see so that no one else dared to say anything and <sighs> damn it man let's move on anybody who calls me racist give me proof So literally the first thing that catches my eye is that the tweet that she made that said it seems impossible that 6 million Jews were killed. Excuse me? Having not been to a Holocaust museum, there were so many victims of the Holocaust. Many people and their families were killed just for the simple fact that they were Jew and that Hitler had some kind of hatred anti-semitism towards jews like many of those people were killed for their religion excuse me hitler seized many countries people had to flee have you not read the diary or even heard about the diary of anne frank where she had to hide her and her family because soldiers were going wherever they heard there were jews to capture them and kill them excuse me have you not read up about history how they found when the un seized concentration camps they found mountains of dead jewish people's bodies they found trenches full of these people when they had been gassed they were just dumped into mass graves there's so much imagery of this and it's not like there was just a one camp they were Several so imagine let's say they were killing I don't know the facts, but they were killing quite a lot of people Daily so if you just do the maths honestly, it will probably amount to six thousand I mean six million and if this stuff was documented like the Nazis tried to destroy the documents But didn't have enough time so they had to flee I don't want to make this into a history lesson, but I mean, it just infuriates me that there are people who think that the Holocaust didn't exist. It's to say, like, I don't, I don't want to say conspiracy, but it's just a thing that someone just decided to make up and be like, hey, six million Jews got killed. Let's argue about it, like, my gosh. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm white. I don't appreciate being treated like that. I'm the only white person here. I feel really I'm under attack. You. I'm a woman of color. I identify as a woman of color. Excuse me, you are not a woman of color. It really also like peeves me how people nowadays want to claim being people of color when it advances, it like gives them an advantage. Like you know this whole thing about black fishing happening on social media where people pretend to be basically black through editing or over tanning because it gives them some kind of advantage so in this case she's doing it to get an advantage within the conversation that she's having and my god does it annoy me because you only claim to be a person of color when it advantages you but when it comes to the tough times you're like nope i ain't i mean look around like, do you see any indigenous people yeah i talked to a lot today actually really um what tribes were they from i didn't ask because that's not important to me so there was a woman up there that's from Native American descent and she said she was offended because her skin is not red. Does that make any sense to you? You're a bird. I think I just lost some brain cells. version of dressing up as a Native American is to put feathers in your hair, braid your hair, and wear that. Yes. We don't, we don't live in a society. I see different colors of people all around. Excuse me, racism does exist up until now. There's so many, okay, maybe that's the wrong way to word it. I'm sorry if I word things incorrectly in this video. I, yeah, there are people who try and claim that racism doesn't exist up until now. Like, sweetie, it does exist. My sister, she's currently eight right now. She ex experienced racism when she was five. She was only a child. It happens to anyone, everyone. Listen here, racism still exists. Like, the last time I went through something racist was, uh, I think, two weeks ago. So basically, I found some little boy who commented on... Um, uh, Instagram post like one of those meme pages like hey go comment on my recent post the n-word so I'm like what on earth let me go see if people are actually doing this and to my surprise they are and it's not like there's just black individuals it's literally like all these um, Caucasians saying the n-word and then they asked this dude for the past and I'm like first of all He's not even black or African American. Like, what justifies him for giving the pass? And why is there even a thing of having a pass to say it? Just don't say it. If you're not African American or black, just don't say it. Why are these people so eager to say it when they know? Okay, when they do know that there's history behind it, because some people are just uneducated. When they do know the history, why are they so eager to say it? just don't even i think that african americans and black people should just stop saying it at all because i mean if you keep on saying it it keeps on getting passed on and living through people so just people should just stop saying it in general but yeah that's just my opinion but like what on earth like racism still exists my child and fun fact i reported that incident to instagram and instagram said there's nothing like the individual when i commented on their post like this is the most racist comment section i've ever seen they called me the n-word i reported that to instagram and what did instagram say first of all my post i didn't take a screenshot of that unfortunately but it started loading and saying that this has been like triggered some kind of <sighs> report system or whatever and then i was like okay i'll delete my comment but i'm gonna report the guy who just called me inward and then when i got the support back they said there's nothing offensive about what was said what i mean anyway, every day do you think maybe that's black privilege why would you do that to a native american she is I'm actually Native American. So don't oppress me. Oh my God. 
funny how the lady who's wearing a stereotypical Native American outfit says that she is being oppressed by one. Excuse me, what? Is she just too far up her to see what on earth she's saying? Does she ever think before she says stuff? <sighs> As an American, I honestly do not care about any other part of the world. How does she have experiences as a black person in America that she had to tell me she was I'm not an African American. I'm an American. Okay? I've never been to Africa. I've never been to Africa. Right now, do you know who I'm most threatened by right now of this group of people? It's you. Oh dear. I am honestly speechless. Um... Okay, so this is editing me, but for real, I literally sat there not knowing what to say because this was just heavy, like heavy on my heart. Imagine being racist to someone of your own race. I could never. <laughs> After watching this, I literally ended the video because I was just done watching her. Like, I just couldn't anymore. So that is it for the video, guys. I hope I didn't offend anyone. I did try and give my opinions in a respectful manner. So please be respectful to my opinions and what I had to say in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about this Caitlyn Bennett girl. I honestly think she might just be doing it for the cloud. She's just another one of them trolls. But she's more extreme with it. I mean, damn. Some of the stuff that she says and does is just way too, I guess, savage. But not that, like, oh, she is savage. It's like, what the heck? She is savage type of things. Um,. But yeah, let me know what you think about this female. Um, she's been all over the internet. So, I mean, if you haven't heard slash seen what she says and does, you've seen it now. So, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And if we reach, let's say, 20 likes, I think that's reasonable. I shall do a part two reacting to this Caitlyn Bennett female. I am, um, I saw a bunch more of compilations of her, so there's still more to see about her nonsense. So, yeah, if you'd like to see that, make sure to leave a like. And yeah, that is it for me, guys. I shall lead you straight into the video shout out. Today's video shout out goes to JHW Yoon. Thank you for watching. And yeah, I actually wanted to ask based on this comment do you guys want me to react more to dance practice videos? Because I did post one like a, like a few weeks ago and it didn't really get much attention. So I'm wondering whether you guys would like to see more of that. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.